join us in this episode as we get certified for advanced open water. Good afternoon, everyone. We are now a matter of hours away from an unprecedented lockdown of our country in order to combat an unprecedented virus that left unchecked would have an unacceptable toll on New Zealanders. And so the world went into lockdown. Well, at least New Zealand did. There were absolutely no people anywhere to be seen. We all stayed indoors to try and help defeat COVID as best as we could. We even had proper testing in place and we made sure that we kept our social distancing up. And thankfully, we got rid of COVID. What was your immediate reaction when you heard there were no active cases of COVID-19 remaining in New Zealand? I did a little dance. <laughs> and so while the job is not done, there is no denying this is a milestone. So can I finish with a very simple thank you, New Zealand. After being locked indoors for quite some time, we decided it was time to get an adventure. So we went and got our advanced open water. We had 100 kilometers west of Christchurch to do our first dive for advanced open water, which is peak performance buoyancy. We went to Lake Coleridge, which is 362 meters above sea level. The lake is situated in an over deepened valley formed by a glacier over 20,000 years ago. There you'll find the Coleridge Power Station, which was one of the country's earliest hydroelectric schemes, initially completed in 1914 and built mainly to supply power to Christchurch. We fooled around a little bit before we launched into it. The first skills test was to see how our breath affected our buoyancy. We then had to demonstrate weight displacement by transferring a weight around our body whilst remaining in a neutrally buoyant position. Made to look super simple by our instructor Jack Broad. As you can see, we struggled quite a bit. We needed to actually inflate our BCDs before we moved the weight around. It didn't take long for the water to murk up as you can see. New Zealand is cold water diving and we use 7mm wetsuits, hoods, boots and gloves. We have some pretty amazing instructors because they have to get comfortable not only in cold water diving but also in murky conditions. Next up was to demonstrate neutral buoyancy by swimming through a hula hoop. That's right, we had to swim through a tiny hula hoop. The trick with this was to remember that we had tanks on our back and make sure that it didn't get caught on the top of that hoop. That's everybody through and looks like we're ready to surface. So Jack signals us to go up and off we go. Unfortunately, I had to end my dive. We were about to do the underwater nav, but the wind started to pick up really, really bad. And there were some large waves forming and they started pummeling over my head. So I had to call it. So what happened? I had a little panic attack. Because of? The waves pummeling constantly, incessantly. Of your head? Yeah. Yeah. And um, what did it feel like? Hyperventilating. What did it feel like to try and think about what was happening? I, like I said, I was very logical about everything. I knew exactly what was going on. Yeah. And um, show me your hands. Yeah. There you go. Loved you. Loved you. It was a good call to stop. Well done. Due to clashing schedules and a string of bad weather, 
we weren't able to get back in the water until three months later, and we were keen to hit the road. Today we're off to Kaikoura because we are doing our advanced open water, uh, which means five specialty dives, which is peak performance buoyancy, underwater navigation, deep dive, boat dive, and the very scary and exciting night dive. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited, but also quite nervous about the idea of the night dive, but we are diving in the spot that we usually dive, so that kind of helps alleviate some fears and some concerns. Um, the weather is looking excellent, and apparently the water is also looking primo, so looking forward to it. How beautiful is New Zealand? Hey everyone, we're here in Kaikoura in Christchurch in New Zealand. It's 2021 and I know for a lot of you out there uh, you're probably still in lockdown and we have to realise that the world is currently still coping with COVID-19. Fortunately for us here in New Zealand we are pretty much have been and have consistently been COVID free and that gives us the opportunity to pretty much uh, behave and interact as usual. So. Today we're really uh, appreciative of the fact that over this weekend that we've got we're here in Kaikoura and we're going to be doing our advanced open water and most of our diving is going to be out here and this is a place called Baxter's, Baxter's Reef at South Bay in Kaikoura which is um, about uh, the centre of the coast of the South Island which is kind of nice. Um, we're going to take heaps of video as in GoPro video so you'll get to see that. We'll definitely be videoing the night diving for people that haven't done night diving and my wife Estella, so Estella's not that enthusiastic about night diving so it'll be interesting to get her view on how it was um, and maybe a little bit of video leading into how she feels before, we, uh, before she does it as well. So this is another stage in our evolution of becoming master divers. Stay tuned. We're staying at the Underwater Club in Kaikoura, a very old building that actually started in 1972. Unfortunately, I forgot my camera because I was so excited that we didn't get to video the underwater nav. So, night dives next. We've just had dinner and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really scared. I'm, I'm feeling a little anxious about it and I mean, having spoken to everybody else, they seem to be fine and I'm kind of nervous but excited and I don't know, for me it's just, it's a bit of a mind game. I guess the idea of maybe having a panic attack underwater is a scary idea. <laughs> Apparently we're going to be walking in while it's still a little light and then swim out a little bit and descend. And the idea is to get down to maybe 14 to 15 meters, which is quite a good, it's a reasonable depth. Um, and I don't know what else we'll be doing, but I'll have my torch and we'll be buddied up. Um, fuck, wish me luck. <laughs> I feel like this might be the craziest thing that I'm about to do. Out of all the things I've done, I think this... This one's definitely challenged me a little bit. Um, mentally and emotionally. So... Dum, 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 dum,
Do you have weights bigger than that? Ready to go for a night dive? Yeah, yeah, you're looking good. Two toes. Two toes. Because I went down with those. Maybe I can get in the water. It'd be great. Looking around at everybody, as you can see, there's mixed emotions. Some of them have gone quiet, which is a sign of anxiety. But as you can see, if we pan more towards Michael, he's actually really keen and super excited to get in the water. I'm in! It was so beautiful under there. Scary because it was super dark, but it was actually calming in a way. Once we were all settled, our instructor Matt signals OK with us and we respond back with the same signal and then he tells us that we need to do a reciprocal which means heading out using our compass bearing, using 20 kicks and coming back. We ended up finding some parasites in the water, some sea worms. They looked pretty funky until we got told that they're actually poisonous. As you can hear, I wasn't very impressed. I was blown away by how surprisingly clear the water looked compared to our usual day dives. The area is usually quite murky, but in the dark, with this light, it seemed a lot clearer. Lastly, we had to demonstrate lights out. This is where we had to put our torch up against our chest so that it was completely dark. Michael was kind of not paying attention so I had to tap him on the shoulder and tell him that that's what we were doing next. Matt signals us the OK and we're ready to surface. The lights look so beautiful underwater and you could just make out where people were. It was a whole nother world down there, that's for sure. And look at those bubbles. Big swim back on shore and now we're on land. Everyone was pretty stoked about the experience and the stars was phenomenal. It was very relaxing. How was it? Yeah. What was the best part? The stars. 
stars. Yeah. <laughs> Lying on your back, looking up at the stars. Yeah. That was beautiful. What was the worst part? something and um, we've just finished the night dive um, it was cool I was petrified <laughs> the whole time and um, literally held Michael's hand the whole time and he was the trooper enough to actually let me do that um, I'm so tired now uh, so I'll try and get some sleep we need to be up by five so that we can be gone from here by seven and be at the on the boat by eight. So five hours sleep. So it's gonna be quite rough, um, tiring. Uh, the experience was great though. Uh, there was some cool stuff in there and some scary looking things too, like worms wriggling, just floating, and parasites everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. So would I do it again? Yes and no. I think that's my answer. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bed because I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. So, good night and see you tomorrow morning for the boat day. It's um, 10 to 6 and um, nobody's up yet, <laughs> but we're going boat diving and deep diving as well, so I need to get ready to um, well, get on the boat. We're both tired, but excited. Um, and Michael had problems with his ears last night during the night dive, so hoping it's all cleared up and he can dive tonight, uh, today. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. Um, didn't get any sleep at all last night. I just, I don't know why. I just couldn't. So. Um, on empty today, <laughs> but I'm thinking after some breakfast I'll be able to gain some recoup some energy and it'll be good. Bye. We made it on the boat and Captain Steve gave us a debrief as to how to entry and exit the boat um, and that was it. We were ready to set sail onto the sea. As we prepare and waited for others to get into the water, we got the coolest surprise ever. It's baby crayfish. Look at them floating in the water. Just look at that one. It's so cute. We descended down to 20 meters and we had a good look around the area just to also see what the difference in pressure was from shallow diving to deep water diving. The life was definitely different. It was a lot colder and murkier as well. Michael and I have actually been diving for quite some time. 
Uh, the journey for me started in February 2016 when we went to Rarotonga and I fell in love with scuba diving. Michael previously actually pursued his instructor's ticket uh, for scuba diving, but he never finished it and got into outdoor rock climbing instead. But seeing as I fell in love with it, he had to get back into it and be my dive buddy. We now have well over 50 dives each and climbing. Bit of a fun fact, the Māori name for crayfish is kaura. Getting low on air and it was time for us to end the dive and start our ascent. A slow ascent is a safe ascent. We took our time ascending to the surface and we also did a five meter stop for three minutes to make sure that all of the bubbles in our system have managed to escape. We got to the surface and we switched over all of our gear and swapped some tanks. Uh, but unfortunately my GoPro died, so I wasn't actually able to video the second dive. But it was such a fun dive, we got to see how much neoprene actually shrunk in pressure, um, as well as played with some navigation. Just finished our boat dive, so we did two dives on the boat. One is boat diving and the other one is deep dive. Um, I ended up feeling very nauseous whenever we were on the boat because there was a bit of a current and swell so I had to kind of just try and see if once I got in the water if it was fine and it was um, still a little touch and go but then when, once we started descending it, it went really well and um, got down to 23 meters which was nice uh, ended up catching one cray so that was awesome um, yeah, we're officially advanced open water divers. So, yay. what comes next? Uh, next will be our rescue diver ticket. Yeah. And um, four other specialty dives because one we've already done one specialty dive, which was the enriched diver one. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So that's yeah, that's everything. Stay Lo tuned. Love you. Love you. We are officially advanced open water divers. It was such a fun weekend away and it was an experience to remember for sure. That night dive will be seared into my memory. Uh, if you are keen on following us on this journey and seeing the process of getting your master scuba diver, please hit subscribe. Would love to have you join us. Um, and as always, stay awesome and take it easy. Ka kite.